American Girl released a $230 collector Kirsten doll. Let's talk about it. Okay, so this is a video that I did not think people were going to want to hear my opinions on because when Kirsten did re-release in this St. Lucia like collector doll moment thing that's happening right now from American Girl, I thought that I pretty much made it pretty plain and clear that I was not going to be buying this doll. This is something that I have no intentions at the current moment of purchasing whatsoever, but it seems like you guys really want to hear my thoughts and opinions on this doll specifically. And let me just start off by saying the fact that I am so frustrated, so frustrated, okay? Because of the fact that I have seen people getting these dolls. I have seen so many defects with these dolls. I am a part of some Facebook groups and people have been sharing online that these Kirsten dolls for $230, they are coming with defects. An American Girl, actually, from what I have been seeing, has been refusing to do exchanges for these dolls. Sorry, there was a plane that just came by and I... Anyway, for those of you guys who do not know what I'm talking about, American Girl, I want to say a couple of weeks ago in the middle of October, released a $230 Kirsten Collector doll in her St. Lucia dress. It's pretty iconic. Like, everyone under the sun knows this outfit. It is stunning. It's beautiful. It's gorgeous. The, like, headpiece is amazing and the whole outfit on kirsten is really really nice and especially for the holidays right now like it is a very popular outfit that people utilize for their kirsten dolls as you guys know kirsten is not one of my girlies i still even after reading like her books i'm just not the biggest fan of her i don't really understand the appeal of kirsten still to this day i understand samantha and like molly's appeal for sure but like i'm not a kirsten girly whatsoever if you are a fan of Kirsten, please write down in the comments down below like why it is that you like her because every single time that I have a conversation with anyone about it, I feel like, you know, they try to explain it to me but then I'm like, uh, you know, I just, I kind of like just have a, like a little bit of a brain fart and I'm like, yeah, still not understanding the appeal behind Kirsten but, you know, she's one of the original three so you got to give her credit where credit is due. Now, American Girl released this $230 collector doll. Yes, $230 for Kirsten in the outfit with the wreath on her head in this like whole like collector box moment comes with the book doesn't come with her meat outfit, but it comes with the doll the outfit the book. That's it. And they're only making a certain number of these and to me like again just craziness 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 that they actually are like doing this. Now, when I heard about this in the spring, I was kind of like mortified at the idea that American Girl could potentially be doing this. It was a rumor at first, and the fact that it was going to have a heavy price tag, the fact that her original meat outfit wasn't going to come with it, and the fact that it was going to be like in this like whole like bring Kirsten home and she's a collector item and like that, like no, like whatever way that you try to like spin this PR thing, at the end of the day, you are asking your adult collector, like American Girl fan base, to basically like pay $230 for something that could have easily been like another $75, $50 price tag. Probably $75. If this was $75, I could see so many more collectors buying it, so many more people being interested in this. People, nostalgia-wise, would be so much more down to be buying this. But because it comes with the doll, and because it is like, you know, wrapped up in this pretty bow of like, oh, she's a collector item, like it's not really selling for a lot of people. And I personally, when I saw it, was just like, really? Like, we as collectors, as adult collectors, we only ask really for one thing, and that's for you guys to like give attention to the historical characters. And so for you guys to be like, yeah, we're gonna do that. We're gonna give you historical character stuff, but we are going to slap a heavy price tag on it to really like split the line between who is actually wanting this stuff and who is just like saying it to say it. Like, it's so, so frustrating because I, as a collector, this is an outfit that I've always wanted. It is something that I've always looked at on Macari and eBay. And at this point, I'm probably going to end up buying this outfit secondhand because I know for a fact that the quality on that collector doll is no go. <laughs> okay. It's probably going to be fine, dandy, and what have you, but it's not going to be the same, like, the same outfit whatsoever that was, like, produced way, way back in the Pleasant Company days. 
So for me, I would rather pay a heavy price of like a hundred bucks for it than like pay two hundred and thirty dollars, have the other Kirsten doll, and then like not even get the meat outfit, like basically just get nothing else with it. I'm pretty sure she had accessories with this outfit like back in the day when it was released. And if it even had the accessories, I would be a little bit more like, okay, like that price tag makes sense. But because it comes with the bare minimum, I'm like, you guys are just blatantly doing the most like in your face cash grab that you have ever done to collectors. And I feel like that's such a massive slap in the face. Like they literally just grabbed you as an American girl adult and were like, you want, you want it? Like, here you go. But like, you're also going to have to like suck it up and like pay $230. I don't know, you guys, this whole like thing has had me so angry because I'm seeing people get these dolls and they're defected like crazy for $230 for the outfit, the book and like the doll in like this pretty box is crazy. Every single collector that I've seen open these on YouTube has had some sort of defect with these dolls. Anyway, on Facebook, I have seen some posts of some people talking about the fact that American Girl actually is like refusing to do exchanges. But basically, someone in one of the Facebook groups that I was a part of literally wrote that American Girl is not doing exchanges for these dolls. Whether that's changed since this being posted may still be up in the air, but unless you are really, really, really trying to get managers involved and stuff like that, like they are trying their absolute hardest to tell people that they cannot exchange these dolls, which is frustrating. I never go through email because some of the people on email that like write back with American Girl, like they really try it. I need you to be on the phone because I need you to be able to hear the frustration and like that person to person contact, like definitely for sure, like the frustration definitely goes over the phone. Whereas like over email, you know, Joe Schmo, who's writing us back at AmericanGirl.com, truly doesn't understand the situation, in my personal opinion. So it is one of those things that, like, if you're ever going to, like, go and, like, have some sort of, like, exchange or issue with American Girl, I would always say call, never email. I've never had a good experience emailing American Girl, ever, 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 ever. They are so dry and to the point, and they're literally, like well, company policy, and then they just like, you know, ramble on, 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 and on. And it literally is just basically them putting a pretty bow and saying no to whatever you're asking for. So for me, I would say definitely go and call American Girl instead of doing the email thing. That's my personal take on that. But anyway, this woman wrote basically that this was something that she couldn't do. She was frustrated by it. And you literally, here's the picture of the Kirsten doll that she received. For $230, those eyes, she should be able to get an exchange for that because of the fact that this was something that is like a problem. And I don't know when American Girl started to justify their uneven faces. And it's something that still frustrates me to this day because like American Girl dolls used to have pretty symmetrical faces, like from the teeth alignment to the lip alignment to the eyes, like everything used to be so aligned. And I don't know why they're like trying to like do this whole like campaign of like people have uneven faces. And it's like, yeah. People have uneven faces, but these are dolls. These are literally dolls. And any other line of like toy company, whatever, would agree that like, these are dolls, they're meant to be symmetrical. They're not trying to act, like this isn't my twin. Like we're not doing that. And even my twin dolls had symmetrical faces, even though they were like all hand painted and all that. But still, it was like, there still should be some sort of symmetry. So yeah. Ah, this doll frustrates me so much, so much. And I like, it really bothers me that they put a limit on these dolls and the fact that they're not selling the outfit separately. Like just everything about this is such a slap in the face in my opinion, like such a slap in the face. And by people buying this doll, it's basically giving the ignition to American Girl to say like, hey, we can bring stuff back and we can charge a pretty penny because now they're willing to do it. Which, like, I will be the first to say, like, I'm definitely a hypocrite for that because, like, I will be the first to say I don't like something and then still in the same breath, like, buy it. But for this collector doll, like, I don't know. I don't know. I know there are going to be collectors in my comments, you know, being, like, upset by the fact that I'm not, I'm not judging anyone who has these dolls, by the way. Like, this is not what I want this to be whatsoever. I'm not judging you for spending the $230. I'm just saying I am so frustrated with American Girl for doing this and for like, this is not the answer we wanted in regards to like bringing stuff back for the historical girls. Because next year, if they really want to try it with like putting Samantha in her red outfit, putting her like holiday book with her and then like slapping on like a collector box on it, I am going to... 
I am going to be so mad. So mad. And the fact that they started with Kirsten, they are definitely testing the waters of what we as collectors will do. And this is like the most blunt, in your face, we're gonna do it, but we're gonna make it just really hard. Ugh! Anyway, so yes, that's it. I, there's nothing else to it, guys. There really isn't. Like, I am just at a loss of words for American Girl to have done this. I do want to say that this would definitely be a different opinion if the meat outfit that she comes with would, like, come with this. Like, if they did, like, a create your own moment where, like, the box at the bottom has her full meat outfit, then I would be like, okay, $230, you're getting the other outfit, and you're getting her meat outfit, and you're getting the new book. I don't even care about her, like, first book, but, like, that makes more sense to me. But the fact that the meat outfit doesn't come with it is crazy. It's insane, actually, in my opinion. Those are my opinions. Those are my frustrated, angry opinions about this whole American Girl thing. I'm gonna implore you, is that the right word? I'm gonna implore you to please not buy this doll. And that is the first time on this channel that I will ever genuinely say it. Do not give American Girl, well actually, I'm not inciting anything, but I will implore you to actively not buy this doll this holiday season. Because if American Girl is gonna try it with Kirsten, they're gonna try it with every single thing that we have been begging them for. Like, I would not be surprised if they re-release Molly's Route 66 outfit in this box and try to sell it to us. Or Samantha's holiday outfit or like just anything. It's just, it's gonna open up the floodgates of that. And I would like to not give them reason to be doing that. So I implore you please. Anyway. All right, you guys. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. My name is Chris. You guys can go follow me on my Instagram, which is at the doll studio by Chris. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I have missed you like crazy. I have tried to edit this video as little as possible so that way you guys can get my honest reactions with stuff and just the way that my brain works. So yeah. All right. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching this video. My name is Chris. I'm hosting a giveaway right now. Go check that video. It will be linked down below. Yeah, we'll see you guys next week. Make sure you guys follow me on my Instagram, which is the Doll Studio by Chris. Make sure you guys are subscribed to my channel. Make sure you guys comment down below. Let me know your thoughts on this whole thing about Kirsten because it's frustrating me. Is it frustrating anyone else? Or am I the only person on this planet that like truly cares? Anyway, that's my ordeal. That's my spiel. Yes. All right, you guys. I will see you guys in the O. Oh. Make sure you guys follow me on my TikTok, which is Chris American Girl. Yeah. <laughs> All right, you guys. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye, guys.